Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name Yes. I picked up Marky early from school and you know he's hungry. I have chicken patties in the oven, but they're not being done quick enough. So let's try this again. Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you are new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. We are gonna go ahead and do purchase or pass. Seems a little slow this week. And I'm happy about that if that's the case. So if you want to talk about all the new makeup releases with me, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So as you're watching this video, the Sephora sale has started. I am certain I have purchased some of the things that were in my loves list. So if you are looking to shop the sale and are looking for some recommendations, I do have a video on that. I will link that in the cards now, or I'll try. I say I'm going to, and then a lot of times I don't, but I try. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move over and we're gonna go ahead and talk about the makeup releases for this week. So as per usual, I am gonna be starting off with Makeup Release Radar Official. I do wanna say before we get started that I know many of us have seen the sneak peek of the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette, but I am not going to be sharing uh, those sneak peeks only because Natasha Denona hasn't released those pictures yet and Makeup Release Radar also does not have it on her site. But if you're curious about it or haven't seen it, I will link Morgan Turner's video because she has a shop or drop. I don't know if maybe Natasha Denona put something in her stories or something like that but I know that most people have seen this palette and FYI I will probably be purchasing that one all right let's go ahead and discuss what we have here and as of right now just looking I don't see a ton of new things which makes me very happy I did purchase the adept cosmetics minka palette and that should actually be here today so by the time you're watching this video, I should be working on actually filming. So I'm excited about that. Let's see what else we've got. This might be a short one, you guys. Linda Hallberg is coming out with the Reload palette and it is inspired by the peacefulness of the forest. So it's a nine pan here and it's got some cake liners as well. I'm not interested in this palette at all. I mean, I have these types of shades but I do like Linda Hallberg, but this is gonna be a pass. It is $41. We have another restock for the Hollow Bean palette along with its freaking bats. That will be October 25th at 11 a.m. CST. So if you missed out on that, I am staying strong and passing on the Hollow Bean palette. I really don't think it's a color story that I would wear, especially after doing a BYOP where I tried to dupe all of the shades. I am glad that I did not purchase that palette, although I think it is very pretty. Okay, we have a brand called Semi Haze Beauty, and this is their first collection. I don't know anything about this brand, but it just caught my eye because I have not heard of it. So these are Sun Flush All Over the Face Liquid uh, Blushes. They're $35 a piece. Oh, this is gonna be like a luxury brand. We have the Velvet Blur Matte Lipstick Balm. Six shades for $36 a piece. Wow. Super slick tinted lip balms that are gonna be 30, or what is this, $28 a piece. The super slick tinted lip balm for $28 a piece. We have some solar tint blush cream duos. These are gonna be $42 a piece. We have some lip glosses that are gonna be $30 a piece. There's a mascara that's gonna be $38. And not these stickers for $30. Okay, y'all let me know about Semi Haze Beauty, if I'm saying that correctly, and about the creator. I have no idea. I'll have to, let me just go here. Oh, all right, let's go on our Instagram. Oh, wow, 1.6 million followers. Okay, I can't do this right now. So if y'all could just let me know. I gotta move on. I still haven't done my give set video. It's coming, but 
There are so many gift sets, I don't wanna overwhelm myself. But look at this little cute one. Hey you, you've got it all. Gift set, okay. Oh no, $241.50. I mean, these are full sizes and Glow Recipe is really good. Now this is a pass though. I mean, I guess if it's at Sephora, you could get the 20% off or 15 or 10% off, but it's a no for me, Scott. All right, more gift sets. Okay, Give Beauty is coming out with the I See and Sparkle Clean Multi-Dimensional Glitter Eyeshadow. Oh no. Oh, is it loose? Oh, no, 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 nope, nope. Ultra sparkly loose glitter eyeshadow means it's gonna be a mess all over my pants and face. I can't, mm -mm, nope, $24 each. This is a no. Okay, KVD Beauty has the Moon Garden Vegan Eyeshadow Palette. This is a little pretty packaging, don't you think? I think it's really pretty. This is gonna be a no for me, but it definitely caught my eye. 12 high pigment shades, matte satin and metallic finishes, and limited edition art by tattoo artist Miriam Lampini. Okay. This is available now at Ulta Beauty for $42.50. This is gonna be a no, but I think it's pretty. I haven't tried Kat Von D, so I have not tried her brand. Okay, y'all, Nomad is at it again. I feel like Nomad is, is coming at us with releases. I just feel like I reviewed the Hudson Valley palette, but we are on to something else. And I do have this palette in my possession. I'll probably update the this video with the full reveal because I think it's gonna come out the next day after I'm filming this. It's Thursday and I think the reveal is gonna be Friday. This is beautiful. I don't wanna give too much away cause I'm just not sure, but there are three other shades. Let me find them. Here they are. So here are the six shades that we have for this palette. It definitely is giving those holiday vibes with the Santa and the reindeers and the Shanna. And then it looks like there's some Northern lights in the background. So I'm excited to work with this palette and show it to you all. It's gonna be available November 1st. So yes, I will have that up as soon as I can. All right, I see. You need to leave. I'm getting confused with the Grinch collections because didn't I talk about Makeup Revolution in their Grinch collection or was it Shrek or was it Grinch before and Shrek? I don't know, but this fuzzy palette and the Grinch shape palette is a no, 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 no. I hate it. And I love the Grinch. Like I absolutely love the Grinch. Like how, not that Grinch. I want to like it, but I can't. Oh, the mirror though. No, I'm, I'm not doing it. Okay, y'all, I don't know how to feel. Okay, I'll tell you what I don't like. Let's start from there. I don't like the shape of this palette, period. I do like the reindeer headband, like from when they put the antlers on the dog, because I love the Grinch. It's one of my favorites, the original Grinch. I like all the Grinches, actually. I do think the packaging of these uh, brushes and sprays and lipsticks, are, I think that looks cheap. I don't like it. I kind of like the mirror, even though that does look cheap as well, but that's okay. The concept of the liner is cute, but I would get stuff on it, so no. No to the highlighter and no to this fuzzy palette. It's just not practical. All right, I'm not getting any of this and there's no judgment if you get any of it. It's just, I, I can't, I just can't do it. I had to move on. So how many carnivals are we going to? Be perfect and Stacey Marie MUA have another carnival palette. I don't have any of these. The size of these palettes, it's just overwhelming for me. And I would say, oh, I forgot about Marquis Chicken Patties. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, let's get back to this. So these palettes are just so big. I'm curious of what it's gonna look like, but at the same time, I know I'm not getting any of this collection. So let me know if you like your carnival palettes. Let me know if you use them. And you may eat them. 
let me move on. I'm not getting it. Now, Mark, you gonna tell me that quick that the chicken patties are cool. No, they're not. Now, I have not seen a release from Scott Barnes Cosmetics in some time. But what I will say is at some point I subscribed to his list and have been getting all of these or have been getting all of these sales. So I guess he was trying to sell out his inventory or something like that, but not for this. No, the Scott Barnes Voyager collection limited edition this holiday season. Scott Barnes has designed his most coveted collection yet coveted by who not me. Voyager. This five pan palette series was curated around Scott's favorite destinations, including Paris, Italy, London, Dubai, and Australia. I, I don't like these. So this one, Dubai is pretty kind of, let me know what you think. I might, maybe I'm being hard on Scott. I don't know, but for now it's a no for me, Scott. All right, let's see what else we've got here. Sigma Beauty and Kendall Alfred minimalist brush set. Uh, this is going to be a no. I don't know who Kendall Alfred is. I'll have to check her out. We have a sneak peek palette from Winter or Winter Moon from Pink Crush Cosmetics. We'll have to get to that when it comes. And then we have the Warm Wishes palette from Sigma. And there are some little bundle sets. This is a no, it's kind of boring. Let's see what else we've got. Let's see, what is, what is this? What are these pocket shadows? All right, let's see. Um, This is Glossier Beauty. And let me just see about these uh, shades. Now you can really make this set your own. Choose from 10 of our palette shades, all of which have three finishes. Matte, satin, and metallic. Okay, um, no. Gotta move on, y'all, I'm so sorry. Let's look at this Mamacita palette. This is the Llorona palette, Llorona palette. 16 shades, 10 mattes, and six shimmers for $30. This is not a bad color story at all. I have not heard of Mamacita Cosmetics and as far as indie brands, oh, look at that cover. I'm probably not adding any to my brands to try list. So that's why I initially was gonna skip past it. But I do like the color story. It definitely caught my eye. It's very earthy, fall, but no. And Glow by Auric is coming out with new plush ritual tints, haze and ripe. And these are gonna be available November 1st. These are gonna be a no for me, although I do like Auric. I like the uh, glow lust and the smoke reflect, the single eye shadows, but I don't really need these. Well, Lime Crime, I everyone's coming out the woodwork. So Lime Crime is releasing a new collection, the Venus XS Blue Opal Palette. There's a Lip Trio, ooh, and there's ew, no no liner. Oh, this is an eye and brow topper. I do not want to top my brows with this. No, no. And these hair, okay. This is a no. The face gems, this, this is too much. No. If you're interested though, it is available now. I, I don't know if I like this combo of shades. I have not tried Lime Crime before. Let me know what you think about the brand. The Bomb is coming out with the Fun Guy eyeshadow palette. Oh, shiitake, fun size and perfect for an amazing trip. Um, I can't do this. I might not get it. I might not get it. Like I get the mushrooms and everything. I don't like the mushroom shaped pans or the crescent shaped pans. Is Fun Guy a person or is it just like, why is it called Fun Guy? Oh, fun guy. You need to leave. I wouldn't have got that if I did not devote so much time. And now I'm upset with myself. I'm sorry. I have to go. Um, these notoriously morbid lipsticks, I did pass one. I was thinking they're going to show it. Uh, a little further up, so I'm gonna move on. Now, Mika Beauty Shop has the Glacier eyeshadow palette. 
this one is definitely not for me, but if you like blues, this is beautiful. 15 shades, eight mattes, and seven dual chromes. I will definitely uh, keep y'all posted because it's coming soon. Thomas has a very expensive lip set. I think this one is at Sephora lip color discovery set. I think Tom Ford lipsticks are okay, but oh, not these deluxe minis mm -mm, for $80. Nope. I would say pass on that. Oh, let's see what else. It's not much. Something else from Tom Ford. Now, this is at Sephora, and this is one of the cream quads. It's the Tiger Eye, and it comes with these two mini lipsticks. So I was pricing this out. So Tom Ford quads are like $89 or $90. So for $95, you would get the two uh, mini lipsticks. And then if you were rouge, you would get 20% off, which would put that, uh, I guess, at like $70 something dollars. So that might make it worth it. I'm just saying. But um, I don't know. That color story is really basic and I think we can find it in so many other things. So I would pass. Uh, Patricia has some bundles here. Or oh, wait a minute, new lipsticks. Liquid Lust. Oh no, I don't like the metallic lipsticks. And two mattes, $32 a piece. Yeah, and there's some bundles with that. Uh, this is a pass. If her stuff isn't on sale, just wait till the next one because it will be back on sale real soon. I haven't seen anything from Zoeva in a while either. Now they have some brush sets. I don't need any of these, but I've heard great things about Zoeva brushes. So let me know. I am passing on these though. ZC Cosmetics. Now this is the brand that did the Alice in Wonderland palettes. Cute cat four color eyeshadow. Okay, these look like the ColourPop ones, don't they? Remember ColourPop had all those like eyeshadow quads? That's what these look like. I think they are totally passable, but they're $13.99 a piece, which is a great price. What is this? I don't know. Made by Mitchell has some lip glosses, not doing that. Let's talk about the Boohoo collection from Notoriously Morbid. I did talk about this in my last video and hopefully later on today, I'm going to be filming this so I can have it up on Friday before the release. That's the plan. But this palette is very pretty. And I did not realize, apparently this palette is $74.99. Had no idea. I don't have any palettes from Notoriously Morbid that I've paid that price for. So I am definitely going to be really looking at this hard to see like, do I think it's worth that price? So at this point, that video should be up and I'm sure this palette I'm thinking this palette's gonna sell out. It looks really beautiful. Multi-chromes, duo chromes, and mattes. So yeah, definitely curious. And then I'll go down and show the lip glosses or the lip metallic, mystic metallics. <laughs> so here's one. And these aren't shades that I would typically wear, but they go so beautifully with the whole Boohoo collection and that outer packaging, which I really, really like that outer packaging a lot. So yeah, I have all of this. There's liners, there's crystal gem toppers, there's two mystic metallics, and then like this um, gloss. So yeah, the names are so cute. Like for crying out loud, crocodile tears, emotional motion sickness, I love that. Mora Beauty is coming out with some glitter liners. And if you wanna try a glitter liner, I'm sure these are gonna be a great price. $7 each or 48 for the bundle. I don't see myself going for a glitter liner. So these are gonna be a pass for me. We have a release from Pout and Shout. This is a Spooky Tales for Scaredy Cats palette. My only issue with this is if this is like Halloween theme, like Halloween is on Monday. So it would be nice if these releases, you know, happen before Halloween so you can actually have it. I have not tried Pout and Shout. So let me know what you think about this brand. Hold on. $20.84 to $34.73. Pay according to means. What does that mean? Like... What does pay according to mean to me? Like, I can choose? Let me know, I might be behind, I'm not sure. All right, so ColourPop, see, I kind of wanted, not the CP30 palette, but the bigger palette. I kind of wanted that one. 
And then I was like, all right, it's gone, so whatever. Anyway, ColourPop is restocking the Star Wars palette and then releasing the CP30 palette. I am gonna pass on this. I have so many golds. So this would, this is pretty though, it is. But it would be me just getting it to go with my child palette. I don't know, maybe eventually, but right now, this is not something that I need. I'm just gonna move on. Let's talk about MAC Cosmetics. So MAC is releasing the Black Panther Wakanda Forever collection. I do think I might want to get something from this collection. If you have seen the trailer, you will know that this movie is going to be amazing. And I might want to have a couple pieces from this collection to wear when I go to the movies to see this because I'm going to the movies. I would definitely be interested in this palette, $39 and maybe a lipstick. And let's see what else, the skin finish, yes. Oh, this is next week, okay. I, I might get this palette with one of the skin finishes and a lipstick. Mm. Which lipstick though? Like that one in the upper left, that's pretty. But the bottom right would probably be the one. That's like one I would wear all the time. I don't think I want the gloss or the liner, but the skin finish, not the gold one, but the this one right here, that one looks nice. Well, that's a surprise. Well, I remember there was a sneak peek a long time ago. So it's nice to see the entire collection. City Color Cosmetics has a grunge palette. Um, this is gonna be a pass. It's $14, which is great. Let me know if you've tried City Color Cosmetics. And then we have this collection from Jill Stewart Beauty. This is a lot going on here. Bloom Couture Eyes. Okay, all of this is a no. I mean, I think I have enough pink from Pat McGrath to last me a lifetime. So I'm gonna pass on these, but let me know if you've tried the brand. Be perfect. Oh, here's the carnival palette. Okay. Everybody's doing like neutrals, right? Oh, and there's a little mini palette. So that mini palette's not bad. But see, this is just too many similar shades. And I just feel like some of these are gonna definitely look the same on your eyes. So having this big palette is not beneficial. The mini palette is cute, but it's not anything that I need. It's called the Muted Eyeshadow Palette. So this is available now at Be Perfect Cosmetics. This is gonna be a pass for me. And then we have a reminder of the Sephora Holiday Savings Event, which is happening now. That's gonna be it, you guys. That's great. Let me just check out a couple other sites and see what's going on. I, mm, you know what? I did see this YSL Beauty Holiday Collection on Makeup Release Radar. I forgot to scroll and talk about it, but I did talk about that clutch a while back and I was saying that I liked it, but I'm not gonna get anything from this collection or the advent calendar. Now I do like the YSL lip products, the one that looks kind of like the bombs at the top. Those are great. I have like two of them and they're great. You can get YSL Beauty lipsticks or products on sale from their brand site for like 20% off. So it's really, this isn't even at Sephora, I don't think. So it's nothing that I'm gonna be purchasing. I love these, these shine bombs. They're really, really good though. I will say that. Oh, I actually like both shades, but they can wait. And I haven't tried their regular lipsticks, but that's a pretty color. Shade 157. Ooh. Now we do see the Natasha Denona palette on here but I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for Tasha to go ahead and release it herself. And yeah, I think that that's it. I did talk about Lunar Beauty and it looks like he's revealing the shades like one at a time. So I'm just gonna wait on that as well. As far as the luxury world, Thomas is already showing some things for spring 2023. Okay. I am just trying to get through one day at a time over here. As they become available, I'll talk about them. Some of these quads that he comes out with do look similar to other ones. So I, I'm not sure what to think about them just yet. This one here looks like it might be the cream formula, but 
it's too early to be thinking about spring. It's pretty, it is pretty, but I'm, I'm trying to afford the Tom Ford for the Sephora sale. And we have pictures of the Chanel tweed blushes. So I did talk about these cause this was the picture that was the sneak peek. So, okay, look at um, the one on the bottom left. That looks like it might have some shimmer in it. All right, I would be really curious about these. They look interesting. I would probably get one of these. Oh, here they go. Ooh, look at Tweed Fuchsia. Okay, well, you know what? So apparently these blushes have been released before. It maybe was some limited release, but yeah, definitely curious about these. If they're mattes, do they have some shimmer in them? I do like my little tweed quad and I'm saying little cause that is little. But yeah, I know these are gonna be like crazy expensive, but it looks like that's what we've got right now. All right, so that's it. So as of now, I think what's really stood out to me is the Mac and Black Panther collection. I am just curious about that. Every so often Mac comes out with something that uh, catches my eye and interests me. So I'm curious about that one. So I'm gonna keep my eye out for that next week and, and just see. But as far as everything else, I think I'm just gonna stick with what is on my wish list for the Sephora sale. Definitely not ready for any spring releases. And I'm kind of over the Halloween and gimmicky Christmas releases. So I don't know if I'm gonna be participating in any of those this year. <sighs> I don't know. But I'm glad to feel like the releases are slowing down a bit. That makes me really happy because after the Sephora sale, the next thing that's coming is Black Friday. And I think Black Friday is one of the times where indie really comes through. The sales for indie on Black Friday are just, they're pretty good. So I am gonna be trying to hold off and slow down on purchasing anything, especially indie stuff until then. So that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. I did tell you that I have the Boohoo collection and again, that video should be up and the Nomad palette video will also be coming in case you are interested in that. Let me know what you're thinking about these releases. Do you see anything or are you just over it? Let me know. Oh, I'll probably will get the Natasha Denona palette once that releases as well. So that's what's on my radar. Let me know what's on yours and I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. So thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another purchase or pass. I hope this was therapy for you because it always is for me. Until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Oh,